Welcome to the Cal Poly Mono Broncos head coach Adam Reeves and to his left is senior defender Jeremy Totes. Coach, did you start us off with some general comments on this afternoon's final please? Um, you know, first I want to thank UC San Diego and the CCA for a tremendous four days. Um, it was a it was a great great environment at the game. Um, everything from the hospitality to the facility was in top top condition. So the entire uh, department at, at UC San Diego should be proud of themselves. In regards to the game, you know we know we know who Cal State LA are. Um, what you saw is what you get, and if you give up a goal against Cal State LA, it's going to be very difficult to to fight and claw back in it. I thought our group did a tremendous job with that, and you you see the frame twice in the early in the second half to to equalize. Um, one hit the post, and a one v one we didn't do well enough with, and ultimately now we got punished. Um, I have nothing but great things to say about Chris and I'm extremely proud of my guys. They never gave up, they fought and ultimately I'm not worried about the second goal. The second goal is what it is, pushing forward. Um, but yeah, the first goal changed the game. Their ability to, their ability to score first um, will really put other teams under. It was different to when we played them at home and, and were able to beat them. You know, we got on the, on top of them early or first, and, and that was ultimately the difference in the game. They're very comfortable defending. Look, 29 shots to nine, but it doesn't matter to them. They're, they're comfortable, and, and credit to them. They, they did what they had to do. Jeremy, how did things look to you from that back line? They shot early goal off the quick restart, and uh, like Coach said, one of those days you can quite get that one back. Uh, you start the day from the and the goal, first of all, that first one. Um, I mean, it, we tuned out on, on one step piece early in the game and they capitalized right away. And credit to them for sticking to their game plan they're very well on the counterattack and we knew that was coming. Um, and we, we pushed second half, I felt that we had momentum majority of the half. Um, and we kept pushing and pushing and it just didn't go away. Coach, if you would make your case here uh, tomorrow afternoon, obviously the selections will come out. Obviously you feel your side is deserving. Uh, how is the season from your perspective? We look. We're an NCAA tournament team. That's all there is to it. We we went to the last day in the regular season um, in first place, and we're in the final of the toughest conference, definitely in the West region, and, and one of the toughest conferences in the country. Um, this group's an NCAA tournament team, and, and our, I think our record speaks for itself, and and the way we go about things, and our history and performance um, in the season, in the NCAA tournament last year, we we were in as a fourth seed and went to the West Region final, and it's virtually the same group. So uh, I would I would expect that you know to to see good things tomorrow and, and be ready to play whoever it is next Thursday or Friday. Jamie, three straight West Region finals for your club. Uh that you do not want this to be your last game. Uh, talk about uh, how you feel like the season went overall for you guys at this point. I mean, looking back on the season, there's nothing but positives. I mean, although we haven't won something yet, I think as a unit, we, we were together through thick and thin and we still have a lot to play for. So we'll see how the outcome comes tomorrow and then we'll move forward. Thank you, my